you were in one of my videos, you didn't let me do an intro either. <laughs> Females rule! Um, so, no, Brody, shush! <laughs> <laughs> I think not. Okay, okay, I so. okay, okay, okay. So, we're doing an online D&D &D session through Discord. Yeah. Because I wrote a campaign that everybody's excited for. Uh, yeah. I want to die. <laughs> some more than others. <laughs> yes, yeah, some, more, some were more excited than others. That smack was nice. Please be arranged. I'm a cool man. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to my campaign chat. Yeah. yeah. I am present. So. Present and accounting for. All right. Here's where the magic happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. You are yeah, now all. Josh. I am now prettiest unicorn. Silencio. All right. Rudy, can you yeah, jack off some other time? <laughs> What? Can you jack off another time? <laughs> no. I can't multitask. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it only takes one hand. I hate these people. <laughs> okay. Uh, Except you, you're cool. <laughs> and I don't hate the I don't hate crackles, she's my litchy. Anyway. Um, um so you all start in a tavern. And those of you who are watching, the people in this are this Crackle, this dude's Shielden, this dude's, I don't know what his character's name is, it's a Minotaur though, and this Vixos dude's... Vixos Del Cock? Vixos Delphilo? Vixos Delphilo, as his uh, name has changed. I'm gonna call him Dixos. <laughs> Start helicoptering in the fucking tavern? Okay, no! Um, and we're gonna, and this one's dude and, and, is Gloria. Yes. So, you all start in a tavern, as normal. There is nothing much going on, there's a couple people in the corner, lightly playing instruments that you can barely hear. Um, roll perception, all of you. Oh, do I have some proficiency in that? And... Oh, hi, you have plus three. And when you do so, the highest roll is the one that's going to win, and that's probably going to work in Eld's favor right now. And... What the fuck? How? What are the two guys banging in the background? How? Thirteen. Y'all are just... Okay. Yeah, no. I'm a fuck the nearest thing you see. Hang on. No. I'm going to intimidate it into sex. No. Is okay, we're going with the 19. Me. We're going with the 19. <laughs> so, hey. on the other side of the tavern, you see a heavily drunken woman who is mumbling something under her breath. She seems a little distressed and a little disheveled. Mwee. She's drunk. Rudy, no! Yes! No! You can't stop me. I can't stop you. No, you cannot. You're doing this just because you're on camera. Shut up. No. Now, what do you guys choose to do? Uh, Gloria, is, Gloria is going to get up and walk over to the woman and ask, "Excuse me, miss, are you okay?" Gloria uh, is just going to follow Gloria. Are the other two of you following? I am uh, going to go underneath the table and put my head in. Roll you persuasion for that. I want to go talk to the uh, bartender. Uh, Crackle needs to roll persuasion in order to do so. <laughs> to do what? To put his head in her lap. <gasps> the burb. <laughs> the burb. No! <laughs> the woman smacks you across the face. Oh, that's gonna hurt the beak. <gasps> I'm gonna hide under the table now and cry. I'm gonna go over comfort the bird and give a scary look to the mean lady. Okay, 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 okay. We're off topic. <laughs> the woman then looks to Gloria and sighs. 
Uh, I have a blasted problem at my house, and I wish it would just go away, but I have no means of dealing with it. What sort of problem? I heard problem. I ask. Problem? I have been dealing with a blasted death dog in my backyard, and I can't find a single person capable of taking care of it. Murder? A death dog, you say? I'm gonna sprint yes. over and be like, slam hand on table, I'll help. I'm gonna slide there sexy style and be like, you called? Yo. Well, um, if you guys are dumb enough to take it on yourselves, you are more than obliged to, and I will pay you if you do. Fuck you. Thank you, man. The Thank woman you. stares. The woman stares at the minotaur that just told her, fuck you. Well, sir, you have a blasted mouth on yourself as well. Might I might just pay you less if you do it. Or not at all. Either way, mm -hmm. if you are willing to help me, I am willing to pay you in return. I think we would be willing to help us deal with this death dog. Thank you so much. Next session just gives a thumbs up. My house is just down the way. There shouldn't be too much of a problem finding it, considering there is a growling dog in the yard. Hmm. What do you Thank guys you, choose to do now? I make sure that I have everything on me and uh, head down that way. Um. I am going to follow. What about you, other two? Uh, I want to go lead up the front because I'm a shield. And I have a shield. Fuck you, in the Minotaur. <laughs> What about you, Fred? I want to protect the Minotaur. I'm going to comfort you, small herb. I would like to ask who has ranged up weapons. I have ranged weapons. You should probably go behind me, I say, since I'm a shield. Okay. All of you roll perception again. Whack. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, there's the low to, to balance, but my high. Fifteen. So eighteen is the best. You all see the growling dog in the distance in front of a house, and probably I would suggest going to deal with it. Hmm. Well, there's the, there's the dog. Shall we? Hold on. Let me go look at the stats real quick. Also, this is where, uh, Crackle, you're going to have to start helping me. For those of you watching, I am new to DM. Crackle is uh, Riley's uh, co-DM, seeing as she has much, much, much more experience than uh, all of us. Eleven years, apparently. I'm going to charge at it and swing. Wait, you got to roll fucking initiative first. Initiative, <laughs> you know this. Goddamn. Goddamn. Right. Shit. Uh, ah. Well, initiative, everyone. Um, right. I don't know what the initiative for this thing is. Uh, oh, initiative wait. is plus your dex. It's plus two. Yeah. Right. Uh oh. Let me just. Ah. Wow. I I did pretty well for uh, not having any dex. Oh shit, That's it fucked up. One. No. You did one one arm. It's hard it's harder doing it on the computer. Oof. Uh, oh, it's a tie between it's a die up. Shield goes between. first. Shield goes first seeing as he has a high. He's tied with mine. You re roll and yeah. go first? You, you yeah. re roll and I re roll. Hold on. What did you say? Normally, the player's character goes first before a boss, unless the DM determines the dog will go first before the beast. I'd rather just re roll it. Yep, oh, dog shit. goes first. Ah, uh, yeah, you got a 15. So it goes dog, shielded, 
Uh, Gloria, no, no. It then goes Crackle. No, it doesn't. I'm getting confused by myself. It then goes Dixos, Gloria, and then Crackle. So, this dog's health is 39, and its armor class is 12. Um, All right, I'm, I'm going to write down the turn order. So it is dog. She has it crackle, there. Crackle wrote it down. So if you wouldn't mind pinning it off. I'm pinning it. All right. Okay. So the dog is going to. It's so hard to read it off of this thing because I don't have like a sheet for it. Um, the dog is going to bite the shield, which is a melee weapon attack, the plus four to hit, reach five foot one target. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's that. One d20 plus four. Yes. So he tries to bite the shield and he chips his tooth. It is. He is. Okay. He is done for this turn. The next is the shield. Uh, I'm going to attack him with my short sword and then shield bash afterwards. Alright, I'm going to put his AC. Uh, why did it say Seth Dog? God damn it. I had to uh, roll for shield bash. There. I shield bash the dog. Okay. Roll damage. Uh, D4. Where are the keys on this damn thing? I am, I am not having a good time. There's a mod to that for my turn. Um, so that's a 7. Now the dog is at 32. He had 39. Alright, right. Yes, it is. Dixus will charge and attempt to slam his hammer down on the dog. Well, that hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that means death dog is. I'm gonna put DD. Um, 32 minus 8, that's. 24. 24. The dog howls as he is bashed by a shield and slammed on by a minotaur. It's almost sounding like the dog is crying. Hmm. And now it is Gloria's turn. Gloria is going to uh, uh, make is going to make a is going to make a trace a symbol in the air with her hand and then shoot her arm forward and is going to unleash an eldritch blast. Eldritch blast. That sounds lovely. Mm hmm. You uh, she misses. fail. But it's not a critical she... fail, so it doesn't hurt you. It just it makes you look stupid. The bird mm -hmm. laughs. And it's probably in Gloria's voice, too. Indeed it is. Which just makes it all the more embarrassing for Gloria. And now it is the giant bird's turn. The oh, dog yes, almost is. makes a howling, hyena-like laugh at the failure of Gloria. Oh, now another sound for, for a crackle to imitate. Indeed it is. <laughs> for all of you, crackle is a kenku. Kenku are, don't have a voice of their own. They are forever cursed. We were cursed ages ago, at least in lore, to be forever mimics. Yes. 
Now it is the bird's turn. Crackle will run out from his friends as they attack the death dog. He'll go to the death dog's right, and an orb will appear from his hand, sparking with lightning. And he will then hurl this four inch diameter sphere of energy towards this death dog. So I'm basically casting a chromatic orb with lightning damage. So okay. Clear. Okay. By the way, Crackle, if you're using oh, oh no, shit. damn it, roll damage on yourself. <laughs> also, Crackle, I would suggest. I know you probably have to have them in, but if you can take your headphones out, you'll probably be louder. I don't have my headphones in. Then I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can. You can adjust the uh, personal volume. There we go. Hers is going to be... Speak. That's louder. Alright. So, roll damage on yourself, because I'm going to be that person. I'm going to die, just so you know. I will die. Unless you get another critical fail. No, I die. I kill myself. Hey, make a death save just to knock you out. Oh, okay. No, no Crackle dead. Oof. Crackle no. immediately fucking dies. <laughs> no, that can't be good. I didn't anticipate this. I didn't anticipate this. I mean, I can do one out of three, so if you want to do that. Yeah, yeah. We can, how, about we, how about we stick with the three deaths? Say. Uh, that's not looking good. Point. Oh, oh, that's I'm, a save. That's a save. I'm counting that's the save. eleven. I'm counting the eleven because we can't have Crackle dead. Crackle's better at higher levels. Just so you all know, he's he's terrifying. He can take down a Taros at higher it, levels. It, he can take down two Taros. <laughs> I can't, I, yeah, Crackle can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Without okay. the wish spell. Without Please. the wish spell. So, the death dog was unamused by the bird's attempt to hit him, and, and, it, and was quite amused by the fact that it hit itself with its own spell and knocked itself unconscious. Now, it is the death dog's turn. And he is going to use a multi-attack on the person who dealt him the most damage. And if I look up, I believe it's... that was... That was me. I did eight. Yeah. So now the death dog is going to hit Dixos with a multi-attack, which is two bite attacks. Oh no, I'm going to die from this. What's your AC? That, um, 14 exact. So, so they, they both, both hit? hit. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. Mayhaps the death dog was a mistake. <laughs> hey, it's only, I will only take a max. Oh shit, I could die from this. You can, because, because it's, uh... I only have 14 health. I only have 14. It's 2d6 plus 2. Are you raging? Are you more raging? You should have oh, raged. You have raged. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a four fucking hell. Okay, Crackle, the echo raged. on your end is getting kind of bad. Uh, it's, it's only when you have your thing on, though. So take ten. I already did. I'm at four. And now it is the shield turn. I didn't okay, think you guys were going to die this quickly. It's a death dog. It's a super hot. It's a challenge rating three. No, oh, it's a challenge rating one. It is. Yes. Jeez, I don't know my gear. Jeez, I don't know my stat blocks. Um. Yes, that, that hits. That hits. That just hits. Barely. Okay. So oh, twenty-four max minus damage. twenty-four minus nine. And then and my shield misses. Uh, what's 24 minus 9? That would be 15. 15. See, you guys might live after all. Wait, is Rage a bonus action? 
Rage is a bonus action, yes. Okay, now it's Rudy's turn. And you have to say, I would like to rage. Vixos would like to rage. There we go. I'm activating my gamer spirit. Your what? My gaming spirit. Oh, God. Okay, do your action and then do your bonus action. I rage and I swonk. Kapoink. Fuck! Uh, that barely no, misses. Hang it. No, it doesn't. Don't you have. Don't you add more since you're a. I think you. Plus on strength checks and saves, bonus damage equal to level. Mm -hmm. I will go look at Barbarian Rage for you. Ah, uh, Elf's girlfriend left us. Mm -hmm. Sad times. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Are you wearing any armor? Uh, is Vixos wearing any armor? He's wearing what? Uh, ch ring mail. Does he have a higher AC then? Does he have a higher AC with or without his armor? Um, class equal, armor class equals 10 plus your dex plus your con. My con is plus 2, my dex is plus 1. He has a higher width. Okay. I'm gonna do a small check to make sure this thing is still recording. It is still recording. Sorry for that trip for everybody watching. Uh, I, it only goes to damage roll. Okay. So, um, that misses. You may do a bonus action if you have one, or otherwise it moves to Gloria. The, the, rage, the rage was the bonus action. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she is going to uh, just shake her head and uh, uh, try again. She is going to uh, cast uh, uh, chill touch. Okay. So a a ghostly skeletal hand appears, is in front of the uh, death dog, and it is going to try and smack it across uh, one of its two faces. So this is a ranged spell attack. Okay. Go for it. Hmm. All right, I have one second. You will be right back after this commercial message. Or not. So, Crackle. This death dog seems harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at full health. Sorry about that. Alright, so... Do your thing. 20, 20 plus 5. That hits. That most certainly hits. Uh, 1d8 necrotic damage, and it cannot regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Okay. And is, is this and this is this creature an undead? Um, no, it's just a media monstrosity. All right. Well, uh, two was... necrotic damage, and it cannot regain any hit points. So now it's at thirteen. All right. And Crackle is knocked unconscious, and unless there's something. I don't know if there's anything I don't you can know. do to get back can up. Can I do a constitution save to wake up? Yes, you may. I will allow. This poor crackle is almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, can someone autopilot me? I have been requested to do something. Uh, yes. That hits. Right, thank you. That's a good, a good thing. Yes? That works? Yes. I'm going to say yes. We have the two set as. Typically it's at 10, because I want to make it easier on you guys. Then yes, it does 60. 
Okay. So now you are up. Do you wish to do anything? I'm going to flee. I'm going to run away from this dog because I need to regain health. Okay. And now it's the dog's turn? Mm-hmm. The death dog is a little ticked off that he's gotten a couple of good chunks taken out of him by a fucking shield, of all things. He's also a little startled that the bird suddenly woke up and took off running. He's a little ashamed for it, considering that it ran away from a battle. And now, as payback to the shield, the death dog is going to attack it with a multi-attack. Two of both of those hit, and one of them's a critical. <laughs> Yowch. Okay, I'm 16 home. So that means I roll three. 3d6. 3d6 plus two. Mm, that might be deadly. 14. 14. Oh, I'm at two health. Oh, no, never mind. Wait. Am I at two health? You're at two health. Oh, that was fun. And the death dog is then waiting for somebody to try and attack it. Which is now shielded! Have fun! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, that di hits. That hits. Nine damage. So that takes him to four. Right? Yeah, four. And tap it with my sheep. That does not hit. Hit my sheep. Minotaur! Dixus! I shout, I am a motherfucking Minotaur and swing the hammer down. Go for it. Yo, that hits. Giddy. You need to get enough to give me four damage. That's my minimum damage. And, and you've got two crits, too! Two ones and a three. The death dog whimpers as it is slain on the ground. It twitches a little bit as it's finally, finally slain. And finally out of that poor woman's hair. It gives one last howl, oh, before it falls to the ground dead. I want to kneel on its, or I'm going to kneel next to it and shield bash it in the head. Okay. It skull. I would roll a dex save. Just right. trust me on that one. You don't successfully bash it in. You hit the ground That's instead. a surprisingly durable dead skull. <laughs> I'm gonna smash it. Roll the next save. Do we have a healer? I think Gloria. Right Aha! There. You bash the skull in. I'm gonna smash it more. What? They have an incredibly pissed barbarian. Oh. The fuck? Can um, I loot the death dog? Uh, I don't know what you're gonna find on it. It doesn't have anything on it. Can I roll for perception? Sure, you're not gonna find anything on it though. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> what? Seventeen. You could take its fur. Maybe try and sell I'm it. it. What kind of fur is it? Death dog fur. <laughs> Your fur, most likely, of some sort. It wouldn't be common. Mm. I'm gonna wear it like a cape. You do that. <laughs> Crackle's gonna peek his little bird and purple head out and realize the death dog is dead and will waddle over to it. And I'm gonna pull out a vial and collect its saliva. You do that. I'm going to allow that. Oh, pap the bird. So <laughs> Can I pap the bird in my head? Sure. Okay. Can I bite him? Yes. Roll. Roll a d20. Right. 
You bite him, but you don't do very much damage. If any at all. I was about to say, hold on, wait a second. Yeah, I don't, I don't beat his AC class, so I just kind of nibble on his, his metal. You nibble tenderly on my fingers. <laughs> okay, you all gained 200 XP. Oh yeah. Alright, so what do you all choose to do now? Might I remind you the woman offered you gold? I will rush back to the lady. Are you going as well, Crackle? I'm gonna cut the death dog's head off for proof that we slain it. Wouldn't that be a that strength is... check? I don't know. I just yes. fucking smashed its skull in. Roll a strength check. There's two heads. Yeah, dog has two heads. Hey. Um, that doesn't beat its AC even though it's dead. So you don't take the head off. You don't take the head off. Okay. Well, then I'll take an ear off. Okay, roll a strength save again. I have a spur too, so. Yeah, you do have it. He does have a spur. You end up cutting your little claw. Take one damage. Wait, no, don't take one damage. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Hold up. Um, you just cut your hand open. Um. What? So, you all are heading back to the tavern now. Yep. Yes. Crackle, you going? Yes. All right. You all enter the tavern again, one of you wearing the fur of the now dead dog, and one of you with a very bloody hand. The lady looks up from her beer as she stares on very drunk now that, oh, you have taken down the dog. Thank you. I actually did not expect you guys to make it through that. Um, here. Here's 50 gold each to all of you, and thank you for dealing with the troubles. I hate the gold pouch. Okay. You, I hope you all take the gold. <laughs> I'll take the gold. And now it's 70. Crackle also takes the gold. And then the woman shall pass out on the table. From being too drunk. Turn down. My roofie took effect. I'm gonna turn to everyone and be like, Hey, we make a great team. Why don't we go do some more questions and stuff? Give me a moment to heal. Roll the heal, then. You guys can do that. Okay. Uh, Crackle. I'm going to count right. that as a hit. Up to 14. Alright, I am proficient in medicine, so I'm using my medicine multiplier. Alright. You are definitely going to heal yourself. Oh, I don't know what my medicine modifier do. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah you should have uh, done that. I am at 15 health. Dixos, you also are fixed. Well, uh -huh. once you guys, well, you guys, don't you guys have to roll, like, how much you heal, or are we just going to say that you guys healed everything? Roll a hit dice and add your medicine modifier. What would be the hit dice? It depends on your class. Oh yeah, I'm a barbarian. I'm pretty sure it's a D10. Let me look. I have more health than you do. Yeah, I only have 14. Crackle gets yeah, 8. Crackle's not almost dead now. I'm back to full health. I want to give Crackle a high five. Crackle, Crackle will high five him back. Okay. Yeah. Now it's a sweet noise. That's a D12. Roll your thing then. Wait, you already did. Alright. Um, yeah, I rolled it. Oh, roll your thing then. And also, you shielded. What, to heal? Yes. I just did. You rolled the other thing. Like, how much do you, you heal? Yeah, 12. You didn't roll a time before then to actually heal yourself. Actually, what? 
You're supposed to roll, roll to see. Hit it. Dice. Yes. Yes. You did. No, you didn't. What is yeah, your class? class. Yes, yeah, a D12. Oh, you're a barbarian too. No, I'm a shield master. Well then. Well, okay. You guys are healed. Um, now that you guys are healed and done with the death dog quest, which congratulations, you have passed my first trial. Uh, you may now freely wander the town or village that you choose to. Which means you can go to and be like, yo, what can we help with? Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. I'm searching for a weapon sword. I'm searching for a weapon sword. I'm having a roll persuasion first. Mm. Good thing I'm persuasive. Eleven. The bartender looks at you and spits in your face. Oh. Well, I don't have a face. So yeah. Attempts to. He spits on your shield. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Rudy, I would not suggest going to look for a shop right now. What? Because all of you are, I'm assuming all of you are leaving the tavern, yes? Yeah, sure. Crackle, you leaving? I, I will follow wherever the shield thing will follow, because I'm quite fascinated by it. Okay. All of you roll perception. Perception, not fascinated by the fucking... Roll perception as you leave the tavern. Bort. Well, that was low. Rudy, you're, you trip it. I'm just going to do this because that's just too good of a chance to pass up. You trip and fall. Take one damage. <laughs> uh, did you roll two crackle? Oh, the 21's the highest. So. You will notice... Across the way, a fairly run-down building. A tiefling in dark clothing looks behind herself and tries to stealthily go into the building. Closer to your group, a drow can be seen walking into the same direction the tiefling did, and she has a black rose plastered on the back of her clothing. I shall follow. I'm not forgetting. No. He turned his head with his black eyes, gazing out at the tiefling in the black cape with a rose on it. And then try to smack the shield guy to get its attention, and then point to the direction of the girl that disappeared. What would be the role for smacking it? I'm not going to smack for damage. It's just getting its attention. Okay. So there's no roll. Alright. I'm gonna look over and be like, oh, that's a thing. I'm, I'm gonna go over there. Y'all following it? Yes. Yes. Alright. You make it to the building, but it seems as if there are no visible entrances in the front of the building. Can I smash the wall and show? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> you can't <laughs> fucking deny me that. I, I mean, you have to make a fairly good strength. That would be have to be a very good strength check. Save for just normal. Just normal strength. It will do your. Athletics check. Oh, athletics? Yes. You fucking fail. I'm gonna do it again. No, please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. But listen to what my wording was. You see no visible entrances in the front of the building. I know. I'm gonna smash through a wall. You failed again. <laughs> I'm gonna go around to the back then. Okay. Are you all going back there? Your intellect? Yes, I will follow. Wait, who has the highest intellect? Me. Lead the way. Lead the way. Crackle will lead the way and push the way out of the way, even though it's nothing because Crackle's a weak little shit. You can be trying to push the 400 pound middle Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, the 400 pound girl will push the 400 pound one. You can try to if you want to. I'm going to try as long as I don't have any repercussions, Rudy. I, I won't smack you yet. Oh lord. Alright. You guys make it to the back of the building. 
And I mean, I guess you push him. <laughs> barely. You push him, but you push him barely. <laughs> All right. You head to the back of the building, and in the middle of the back of the building, there is a large white circle on the wall. Roll investigation, all of you. That's wisdom, right? I believe so. That's intelligence. Three. I got a five. Crackle, you blessed being. As you look into the circle, below you, the ground starts to move a bit, as soon a ghoul comes from the bottom of it. They, it starts to topple you guys over as it's coming through the ground. And now you must fight it, because it's about to attack you. Roll initiative! We can persuade it not to attack us. Mm, I don't think so, no. Oh. Let me pull it sheet up really quick. It's not so. Let me roll. Let me pull up the ghoul first. Roll. It does understand common, but it's chaotic evil, so I do not think you can persuade it. No, it's immune to being charmed. Okay, this thing will be easier for you guys to take down, luckily. So, Crackle, your initiative. You both got an initiative of 22. Ooh, he's not. Wait, what's your initiative? Your. What's your initiative? Hey! What's your initiative? Mm. Mine? No, like, what's the modifier? Mine is plus one. No, like, what's- well, how do you figure out the modifier? It's that! Okay. Alright, so, the shield goes first, then it will be Crackle, then it's Vixos, and then it is the Ghoul. Wait, uh, you're supposed to be autopiloting Glory. Yeah, Glory is gonna be there, but they're going to stand on the sidelines and watch. Cause I don't- Alright, so- I don't have their sheet on hand, and like they sent it to me, but I'm trying to not like switch through a lot because I have to keep the sheet up for the ghoul. Alright, so I go first. Yes, and crack. Well, let crackle post the order first, and let me make sure it's still recording. Yep, we're still recording. Let me just... Alright. So, Shielden, it is your go to attack the ghoul. Alright, I'll attack with my short sword first. Tis a 12. Is that a hit? That is a hit. Barely, but it's a hit. D6 plus 4 damage. So that means that the ghoul is now at... 18. Mm -hmm. And I'll roll back. That's a hit. Alright. Do your damage. That is now at 12. And now it is... Crackle, your turn was supposed to be right after shielded. No, because I got a 7. I had the lowest one. But your first one was the 22. That's what I was basing it off of. Like, you guys rolled again to see which one of you two would go first. And then it would be you. you. Crackle got a 22 for his perception check. Oh, yeah. never mind then. Yeah, go go get a 7. Yes, okay. Then it's uh, Dixos. Oh, I'm going to use my reaction to impose disadvantage if uh, they don't attack Okay. Me with my shield. Okay. And I see Josh right. is back. Yeah. Hello. Vixos will come on and sit down when you need it. Gloria's on the sidelines right now. 
Alright. Uh-huh. Yeah, that hits. They're fighting a ghoul. Mm-hmm. Uh, that yeah, would be... Uh, how, much, how much XP? Uh, you just got 200. Okay. And 50 gold. Yes. Alright, thank you. And now, it is Ghoulie's turn. I'm going to be attacking the Minotaur with Bite. Alright, hold on a minute. I'm gonna put a disadvantage for my shield. 1d20 plus 2. Does that hit? That hits him, right? Yes, but how does disadvantage work? Um. Um, is it at you. minus 5, or you do it a roll twice and take the lowest number? I'll do the roll twice, I, then. Yeah, this is with a 19. I take a 13. Does that still hit him? Wow. I don't believe it still hits him. I don't think so, either. Alright, what happened? What's your AC? 14. I just barely uh, missed you. Okay, now it is Crackle's turn. Alright, Crackle's not going to be an idiot this time, and definitely not cast Chromatic Orb. So I'm going to have a ball of fire emit through my palm of my hand, and then yeet it to his goal. Hopefully setting him a blaze to finish him off, because I'm kind of mad that I didn't do much last time. So I'm going to cast Fire Rolls. Okay. Okay. Alright. That hits. Alright. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. I fell into a burn. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, a hit. That's damage. Make you save. The ghoul rides in what should be pain, but it's not because it's a ghoul, as you watch its flesh char off of its body. And suddenly, before you all, an opening to the building appears. Mm-hmm. You gain... Wait, you gain 200 XP from that. Everyone. We all level up. Uh, you can check for traps, but I can already tell you you won't find any in the entrance. But you can check for them if you want. Well, plus two. Okay. Alright. This is why I make roadmaps. How many? Wait, what am I? Oh, right, the milestones instead. Double. Okay, and I now have 27 health. Well, that hasn't occurred yet because we uh, we have not rested. Yeah, and no, I'm just turning my hit point max. Okay. Alright, my hit point max is now 28. Are you all done leveling your character up? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Crackle, are you? Uh, hit points is now at 16. Alright. And now you are able to enter the building, and you are able to either turn right or left. Which do you all choose? Right, because right is always right. Mm-hmm. Two for right? Two for right. I shall follow them. My head in agreement with the shield. I think okay. he knows what he's doing. Okay. Um, Alright, max hit points is now 17. Alright, you all begin to head right. Crackle, what's the save for the one thing we talked about? That's a great question. Uh, give me context. I don't want to say it because that's going to give away what's going to happen if they fail it. PM it to you. It's either a con save or a dex save, I'm not really sure. I'm going to go with dex. Okay. All of you roll a dex save. Mm, enjoy something. I'm... 
Um, Dude. This is a trap. Mm, no. Dip shirt. I'm going to say you all make first. it. Okay. Good is job. This is a trap, though. I haven't rolled. Oh. Well, uh, it... Roll in Riley's campaign. Just, just roll. I will. I need to know this because I have danger sense. Um, it won't matter if you roll high. It actually does matter because you have bonus if it's a trap or a spell. If it's a dex save. It's not a trap. Would you say it's a trap, Crackle? I don't even remember what this thing is, so I don't know. Wakey, wakey yeah, is all I'm going to say. All right, then I'll just... Oh, oh, waiting. Uh, no, it's not a trap. All right, then I'll just roll normally. And I hey. fucking fail. Rudy, you're going to be the death of your group. <laughs> On the left path of the building, <laughs> you start to hear a rumbling. <laughs> Okay. And suddenly you hear a growl. And behind you, after the entrance has closed to the building, you will see a dire wolf staring you in the face. Oh, fuck. Oh, um, you have woken it from its dire slumber. Wolf. Oh, God. Now, this will be an instance where I will let you guys try to, I guess, charm it to sleep again. Otherwise, have fun. Plus four animal handling. You can try it. I'm going to allow That's it. just for taming it. Otherwise, you need a charm spell. Um, try to tame it, then. You can try to. Fifteen. Um, how would I check if that, like, hits or not? Would I, am I the decider of that? You're the decider of that because it's your difficulty class. So, depending on if it's 10, 15, or 20, go for it. Um, let me look at the creature really quick again. Keep in mind that it is also, animal handling is also based off of the wisdom of the player character. I will let it slide because I don't want to put you guys in that after what you've just went through. Because you wouldn't be able to take it on with the condition you guys are in. Alright. Do you want to fight the fucker? <laughs> no. Absolutely. For XP, fuck yeah. She does have a point. It gives you XP. We can fight it. We can fight it after we have gained whatever gained whatever health we may we need to regain. I will say it's a temporary charm then. Well, right. temporary taming. It's going to obey you for now. Okay. So second. give you me a second. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm good. All right, you will now enter a little area, and you have to go downstairs. Uh, that's just pretty much what you're going to be doing anyway, because as you continue down the hallway, you have to go down the stairs to go to where you're going to go. And you enter. Can I ride heel downstairs? Huh? Can I ride the shield downstairs like a fancy sleigh? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Eld, would you allow me to do this? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so she just like a this is her way down. Yeah, pretty much. Right, he, he, like, so, we have a burb Legolas. Alright, guys. Yep, she does it. Yep, she does it. <laughs> <laughs> um You will now be heading downstairs into a dark candlelit room. There are two mm. female tieflings, a female drow, two male half-elves, a male changeling, and a female shapeshifter. 
Uh, I, I accidentally messed up a little part of that, but that's all right. Um, now, all of you, roll a charisma save. Oh, no. Hey, something I'm actually good at. Sixteen. Uh, this is one of those I'm going to count it for a group, and you just barely make it through. Just barely, mm. which that may mean I'll make you do another one here soon. So, what is going to happen? Oh, DC is 15 for now. Yes, DC is 15 for now. Uh, so pretty much what's going to happen is you notice that they have been talking, and they notice you walk into the room. They kind of just look at you, but they decide that you're nice enough to come in and listen. They motion you over to join them and listen into what they have been discussing in their meeting. All right, Gloria, uh, stay quiet. Uh, I'd like to make uh, I'd like to make a perception check to see uh, if there's any distinguishing, like clothing or markings, like. All right, roll perception. Can I just point to the rose on the tiefling that I know is that? Yeah, if you want to. But he still has to roll perception to see if he sees you doing that. He no. does not notice at all. Oh, right. Yeah, you can roll it too. He notices uh, you pointing. I tap uh, Gloria on the shoulder and point to where Crackle's pointing. Alright, uh, what is Crackle pointing at again? Uh, the oh, rose on a tiefling shirt. Well, jacket. It's a black rose on their shirt jacket thing. Yeah, it's a black rose on their cloak. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What Wait. about what about a crackle? Um, I can't really speak to you, so I just kind of say familiar. That's it. Familiar. Okay. Do you so all choose to be my pet? <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm, I'm trying to do something here. <laughs> do you all choose to sit and listen into their conversations? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm going to go under the table and hopefully get head pads. Okay. Uh, okay. Roll persuasion for that. Please let it actually work. She does not get head pads, but they just kind of ignore the fact that the bird's under there. Which could be advantageous. I could give the birds head pats. Underneath the table and timely pout. I will give the bird head pats. Okay. So, they start to mention that they have been searching for an item in their realm. The One of the female tieflings stands up and speaks, looking directly at the group. This item has many tales behind it being said to alter anything down to our very time and reality. It is said to be far on the other side of the world, but we aren't sure where. Ha, for all we know, it's guarded by a Tarrasque! <laughs> anyway, this item has been said to work similar to a tarot card. It works in good and evil ways, lawful and chaotic, grand and minuscule. It's, well, from the sound of it, it's a deck of many things, each card being a new effect. I hear from some sources that it has been 13 to 22 cards. They turn to you guys. You're more than free to look for it if you want to, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. And your quest now begins. Oh yeah. What is at the end of this hallway? You're at the end of the hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> the minute Thor just raises his hammer up in excitement. Uh, the tiefling then announces that the meeting is adjourned and you guys are free to leave the building. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh. 
I wouldn't suggest it, but sure. Oh. Roll persuasion. Whack. You actually get PG this, I would be amazed. What is he trying to do? He's bang trying, the tiefling. He's, he's, rolling, he's rolling to bang one of the tieflings. Ha ha, I have a plus two. Oh god. Ha ha! Oh my! <laughs> You score for the night. Ah. I'm mortification. The uh, 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 Gloria, Gloria is going to cover Crackle's eyes. The and turn away. Laughs in appreciation. The escape. The tiefling that was speaking is now suddenly infatuated with the Minotaur. So after uh, <laughs> after that, aha. Uh -huh. Does the Minotaur really say aha? Uh -huh? No. No. Okay. So a after doing. after all that, and after she leaves. After the tiefling leaves, uh, Gloria uh, uncovers uh, <laughs> You did not fucking expect me to make that, did you? None of us did! <laughs> I had to put that uh, so it's on the video. Oh, oh. So uh, you can... after, after, after that, uh, Gloria removes her removes uh, her, her, her removes the cover from Crackle's eyes let's hope you never have to go through that yes <laughs> 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 DM leaves it. No, no, please, no. <laughs> I hate you people. Start fucking helicoptering with the steeple. Like no! <laughs> Guys, just leave the fucking building! <laughs> no, I think. Yeah, yes, we are not coming. I'm absolutely mortified. <laughs> Alright, we, we leave the building. The tiefling is not coming with me. No. front of it. You start to see a line of shops, one armor and weapons, one for miscellaneous, and one for magic items. You may go and buy items of your choice. Mm. Crackle, Crackle, can you go over to the miscellaneous shop and try to see what you can trade with his death dog's saliva? Okay, also, Crackle, DM me a magic item. A, a magic item? Just a random magic item. Because I know what's going to happen, and I know that Rudy's going to have his Minotaur go look for a magic item. That is actually not what I'm doing. What are you going to do then? Uh, I'm looking to shut out. Well, uh, you, give me a magic item just in case any of them do go to the magic shop. Uh, I am. I, Two hand axes, or any simple weapon. I, I, Gloria will be heading towards the magic item shop. Okay, yeah, I need um, a magic item. Just DM me one. Um, I have two hand axes from my starting equipment. Okay. Can I sell those? Sure. Do you keep one. I all right. I'm gonna sell a hand axe and three javelins. You gotta javel. go into the fucking shop first. I'm going to enter the shop. Enter the shop. 
And you may roll perception to see what is around. Shielden will... Okay, so Shielden's going with you. Both of you roll right. perception to see what's going on. And uh, Josh, right. you roll perception to see what's in the magic shop. <laughs> Rudy, your character sees nothing, but Shielden sees a vast array of shields in the shop that are to his liking. Alright, I, I see I rolled an 11. Wait, did Shielden um, go to the armor shop or the weapon shop? It's armor and weapons. Oh, alright. Can uh, you look around again? Yes, you may. Um, Josh, your character doesn't really see anything that catches their eye. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, you see the shopkeeper, Rudy, but you don't really see anything in the shop that looks worthwhile for taking. Mm. Uh, any tower sh- uh, there are a couple of small shields, and they're not way too pricey, but they're not too cheap, as the shopkeeper wants to make their dues. Um, the cheapest oh, one you see- I roll 1d100. My, roll a 1d100? Yes. Mm-hmm. 87. Um, I wish to go up to the shopkeeper and sell one hand axe and two javelins. The shopkeeper but, looks at the items and he's like, you not, have not too bad of a haul right here. I say I'll give you 30 gold for it all. The minister nods and gives a thumbs up. Uh, the shopkeeper hands him the 30 gold and takes the items. Thank you for doing business with me. No problem. He puts the gold in his pouch. I now have a hundred gold. Uh, for three shields, it'll probably be around fifty or sixty gold. Oof. Uh, I'll pay the gold that I got from the quest earlier. Okay, you have to go to the shopkeeper and do that. But the shopkeeper okay. will sell you mm. said things. Okay, I'm gonna take the three shields over to the uh, shop. Uh, can you oh, send me know. like what's special about that, Chica? I don't know what that is. Uh, Gloria is going to be just perusing through, um, looking at looking at the books and look, look looking see if they have anything interesting. Uh, you also, may, you may roll perception again if you so choose. Yeah. Do so. I roll a crit. Okay. You see on the other side of a room a small spear made of... Not small spear. Small spear of thick glass. Hmm. Uh, head over to the sphere. Uh, do you wish to examine it? Yes, I would. Uh, roll an investigation, yes? That's what that roll is? Investigation uh, or perception, doesn't matter. Mm, investigation. Inve- investigation in that case, since I am higher in it. You don't know if there's anything way too special about it. Uh, can I check Arcana, since this is a magic shop? Yes, you may. Thirteen. Uh, you notice that it has magical properties about it, but you don't particularly know what magic properties it has. Hmm. Um. I head over to the shopkeeper and, uh, ask, and ask them, uh, uh about that glass or about that, uh, sphere. Roll persuasion. Just trust me. Roll persuasion. Okay. That's a good. Okay. That that is the that is the very good. The shopkeeper looks and laughs. Ah, oh, this thing. It's a drift globe. Uh, when you're within sixty feet of it and speak a command word, it emanates light. Or well, it. It causes it to emanate the light or daylight spell, and it can only be used once a day at dawn. Uh, 
And I'm just hoping the you know spell? the rest. And I hope you know the rest of the Drift Globe thing, so I don't have to read all that. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I'm familiar with the I'm familiar with the Drift Globe, although I was under the impression that the Drift Globe does not that the daylight spell is only. A, I read the daylight what spell. Said. <laughs> I had read what Crackle had sent me. And I'm going to go over it to make sure. Yep, we're still recording. Mm, the daylight, daylight spell cannot be used until the next dawn. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. It, it did say something about the next dawn, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you wish to buy this item? I would. How much are you asking for it? Psst, Crackle, help. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have to go back to the sheet real quick. Uh, in the meantime, can I buy a set of chain mail? Uh, yeah, you can. I shall do that then. 25 gold. 25 for chain mail? It's... He's pricey. It's good protection. It's, it's good protection. Alright, then I'll take that. Right. Can I remember the three shields? Uh, yes, you may. Alright, All right, chain mail. Uh, uh, yes. Number 75. Oh, yeah. Put that in the chat too. Put your like gold amounts in the chat. So everybody having fun so far? Yes. Well, I wish, wish to inform you of something, right? What? When you're gaming, look up the price of an item because chainmail is normally seventy. Oh really? Yeah. I wanted to make it easier for you to get it. All right then. So, so speaking of prices, since this is a wondrous item and also uncommon, it is up to you to decide. To decide what I normally do for uncommon wondrous items is I either have it between fifty gold range to a hundred and fifty because of what it does. Since this is kind of minuscule, I'll have it probably listed at sixty-five gold. I was gonna put seventy-five. I was gonna put seventy-five. Flowers. Mm. It costs seventy-five gold, my dude. Mm. Do you wish to buy? I do wish to buy, but the things, things I may have to ask from the others. Uh, uh, am I able to talk? Uh, am I able to bargain with them? If they want to bargain with you. Mm. Oh wait, are you talking about the shopkeep or the others? The, the shopkeep. Uh, yeah, you can bargain with them. Alright, this would be a persuasion rule? Yes. Alright. Alright. Money no enemies! Eleven. He does not listen to your bargains. Mm. Where did Crackle go? Miscellaneous? Yes, I'm in the miscellaneous shop waiting to see what Crackle does. Yeah, um, okay. I'm sorry that I completely forgot about that. Uh, I don't know, you're I was looking up for magic items for you. You're okay. Yeah, roll perception, Crackle. Uh, did you find anything in the magic stuff shop? Um, wait, you went to the magic shop, didn't you? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, All right. wait, no, you yeah. were only you had you didn't say that you had left the one shop. You were still buying shields. Yeah, I bought the shields. Well, you have to now go to the magic shop in order for you to know if you found anything in the magic shop. Okay, I'm gonna go to the magic shop. You roll perception as well. Uh, crackle. You, uh, I gotta find something for you to find. Mm. Children doesn't, doesn't see much. much. Um. Hey, Riley. What? Can, Can I, I go, go to the miscellaneous shop? Um, sure. Alright, I would wish to sell the man a shovel and an iron pot. <laughs> what? <Actually, laughs> a shovel and, and a what? Iron pot. 
I'm trying to find you an item, Grackle, because you got a decent roll. Uh, Shielded, you don't really notice very much. Uh, Gloria walks. Gloria walks up to Shielded. Hey, Shielded. What's up? This is a bit embarrassing, but just a flaw over there. It, I really want to get it. I have enough money. Okay. It said 65. I only have 55. 75. It's... Alright, thank you. Alright, crackle. Alright. So, I take uh, the 10 money. Hang on, I'll wait till they're done speaking. I take, I take the, the 10 gold, gold and uh, with it, I... By the drift globe. Okay. You have bought the drift globe and lose 75 gold. I wish you sell the man and shovel and iron pot at the miscellaneous shop. The shopkeeper looks at you like you're stupid. <laughs> a miscellaneous item shop. I'm selling the motherfucker a shovel. He offers you five gold for the shovel and the pot. The pot. And the pot. Uh, it gl- uh, after making the purchase, Gloria profusely thanks uh, Sheldon. I'll try, and, I'll try and make it up to you. Can I intimidate the shopkeeper for more money? If you want to. I'm trying. Right. I, I have uh, one item I could have you find, but I want to have another one that you find so you can like have a couple of things to choose from. Um. I have to make plus five to make a big. I think it is. Yep. And you fail to intimidate. I will try, try again, again goddammit. Just a very good time. Um. I'm still trying. To, I don't know. Is this a rare thing? Intimidation! Uh. The. The shopkeeper's a little intimidated. He offers you ten more gold, so now you would be at fifteen. All right, I shall accept. You gain fifteen gold. Now, oh yeah, yeah. I will be back momentarily. Mm-hmm. I got a whole twenty on that fucking intimidation. Nice. I, I am surprising myself. I gave, I gave the homie a shovel. It has so much random shit. And plus, guess what? I have all the food. I have rations. How many? Uh, enough for... 10 days worth? Same. We both took the adventures back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elb. So, you have any rations? Uh, I believe I have 10 days. Do you have any rations? No, I do not have rations. I just kind of eat wherever I go. Hold on, let me look at this real quick. Let me take the pudding. I do have a week worth of rations for all four of us. Hmm. Alright, wait. What happened to that key thing I banged? She disappeared to the night. We'll always remember your face. I'm gonna feel like she's gonna come back to me eventually. No, I'm kidding. That's a fucking minotaur tiefling looking ass thing. <laughs> okay, so I almost have what I'm going to let you see. I'm just trying to give you something not too bad, because, like, you know, you had a fairly high roll. Hey, I, I got, got a question for huh? you. What happened to that She's still at the place. Oh. I don't feel like I'm gonna get a gift, like, later in this campaign, and I'm not gonna like this gift. <laughs> oh, God. She's gonna come okay. at me, and I'm gonna have, like, this ugly minotaur key from the glass thing. Alright, Crackle. Mm. In the shop, 
you see a lot of things that are definitely miscellaneous, but two things that stand out to you are antitoxin and a cloak of elven kind. Oh. I have no idea what a cloak of elven kind do, so I kind really of good. touch it and feel it. And it's a wondrous it. item. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna touch it, feel it. Uh, roll perception. Uh, well, actually, no, roll investigation. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Riley, what is the Drift Globe's command word? Um, I'm just gonna say it's light. <laughs> Let's go All with right. it. You don't notice anything particular actually, about it. Actually, alright, I'll, I'll just come up with the command word for it. Alright. I, I will definitely case. try again because I'm very intrigued by this item. Almost intrigued as I am about the shield guy. And I know Crackle likes cloaks. Uh, if you Somewhat have a better. Up, your protection, your perception is a disadvantage, but your sneak is at an advantage. Don't tell her she's supposed to. Fuck her. She's supposed to discover. What? Oh. Bitch. I'm sorry. Forget what he just what said. Do. Now you can try it. You can keep trying, Crackle, because it's a good thing. This time I'll let you roll perception instead of. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> big ass minotaur wearing the goddamn cloak. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will notice that. Ooh. You will notice that the cloak shifts colors a bit. Crackle definitely squawks in interest happiness. Cause he Roll Arcana. You barely notice that it has magical properties about it. I'll roll again. You still only barely notice. You could take it to the shopkeep and ask it. Again, you barely yeah, notice. notice. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pull it down and and present it to the shopkeep and, and just kind of question him with my look of what is it do? Are you- uh, okay, that would be stupid for the thing to ask. Uh, are you wanting- oh. Are you wanting to know what this thing does? Crackle will shake his head, yes. I will be right back. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll have you know that it helps you on your perception and your s- uh, it, Oh, wait, hold up. Let me reread this. Hold up. Rack up. You don't do as well on perception with this thing on, especially because the hood always gets in your face. However, you do have better on stealth, as it can camouflage you. Ooh, I kind of like that, because I already am proficient in stealth. Ooh. Ooh. And I can always trim up the hood, so I can, I can you, see. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Aww. Because the hood not? is what activates it. Oh. Well, what the heck? I'll have to have it tailored so I can still activate it, but I can still see. Well, it, I only said that because it it uh, makes you have disadvantages on uh, perception checks. No, no, no. It's disadvantages and perception check made to see that made to see you. Oh, never mind. I misread. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah, I I, I will definitely take this item. So it, it it's it's sort of like the cloak from um. It's sort of like uh, the cloak that Galadriel gave all the uh, gave the fellowship, or oh, I don't know the invis. It's almost like an invisibility cloak. A cloak of invisibility, but geez, you're almost as good as Spazzy with interrupting. Sorry. Oof. That was a burn. That was a burn. So I don't even know what I was gonna say. So. Hmm. Um. The cloak is a hundred gold. Alright, there it is. I I'm going to pull out this vial of death dog saliva and try to get a trade. Roll persuasion. Uh, 
You know what? It's definitely an item I could probably con a few poor souls out of. You've given me something that I can market higher. I will take 25 gold off of the price of the cloak for you. Oh, what? 25? Let okay. me be nice, okay? Let me be nice, okay? That, that's barely being nice. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I, I'm going to whis hold on to the vial of death dog saliva and shake my head, trying to indicate no, go, go low. Wait, how much is death dog saliva worth? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a thing I just did on the fly. Oh um, god. <laughs> uh, roll persuasion. So, make up a price. <laughs> roll persuasion. <laughs> the the shopkeep looks at her well looks at him in a little bit of dismay. I'm sorry, I really can't give you much more. I mean, come on, it's spit you got from a, a dog? I I can't give you too much for dog spit, because I could easily go to the woman next door to this building and get some from hers. Ooh, ooh. So it does cause the flush to slowly raw off. How would I see that? Oh, you're trying to convince them it's magical? <laughs> well, no, that's actually what the description of the death dog saliva is. It carries a foul disease that causes a victim's flesh to slowly rot off the bone. Um, roll perception in the shop. You notice across the way that there is the head of a ghoul trapped in a jar. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to, to look at the shopkeeper and point to the head of the ghoul and basically say, may I borrow this real quick? The shopkeeper, the nods, shopkeeper nods hesitantly. Alright, Krakow will waddle over to this head, grab this head in this jar, and then proceed to take the head out of the jar because death doesn't bother him. He plans on being a necromancer. So he takes this head and opens his vial of death dog saliva and just drops a little bit on its forehead. Uh, uh would that be a performance roll? No, it's what this death dog saliva does, so he oh. has to act in that out. Okay. The shopkeeper takes notice as to what the death dog saliva does. Okay, that's not normal dog saliva. Crackle nods his head in the green. It's not normal saliva. Fine, I think I'll give you a little more off. How does 40 sound to you? 40 off or 40 gold for it? 40 off. So 40 you pay 60. Off. Pay 60. Pay 60. I will, I will nod my head in agreement. <laughs> Put on the cap to the vial and hand it over, and also hand back the head over to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper, the shopkeeper. grudgingly takes the head and <laughs> gives the cloak <laughs> to the bird. the bird. Here is your cloak, is give me my cloak. 60 gold. gold. Alright, Crackle shuffles around in his little bird bag, takes out 60 gold and tosses it to the clerk, puts on his cloak and waltz on out of the shop. Okay, and now for you, Eld. Roll perception in the shop again, because I forgot what yours was. Alright. And you now have- uh, Crackle now has a cloak of elven kind. Uh, nothing really catches your eye too much. Hmm. You may roll again. Mm -hmm. You notice across the room there is a chain shirt that looks a little peculiar. 
special armor. Can I inspect it? Yes, you may. Roll investigation. Oh, I'm not good at that. Okay, and I still got a 17. You right. notice well, that there well, might be a possible magic property about it, considering that it's in a miscellaneous shop. Roll Arcana. Uh, yes. It, although, el it's elven kind. And it's one word. Oh, you, two. you notice... No, nothing magical about it. I want to buy it. Okay. I'm gonna take it to the shopkeeper and ask him how much of it. Fifty gold. I'll, I'll pay it. Okay. You now have the chain shirt. Cool. I'm uh, glad you put that on. Let me type the thing for crackle really quick. Also, Crackle, I'm just going to say that the item is attuned when you bought it. So we don't have to worry, about, have that. To worry about that. Okay. How does attunement work? Attunement is, uh... Attunement is um, generally done over a short slash long rest. Um, Eld, I'm going to send you what your thing actually does because it does have something special. What? Let me how to do that. How do I activate it? He wants it's, to do it. It's a constant. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gloria broke now. That's what it does. Oh, lit. Okay, cool. Um, are you all done? I, I hate to do this because Ruby's not back yet. But are you all done? Um, are there any enchanters in the city? Um, maybe? Uh, can I offer for seven? Sure. Twenty. Yeah, there's one very crude enchanter down the street. I'm gonna go to him. Go to him. Alright, I'm gonna walk in. And uh, ask him if I can chance some shield. Sure, but it'll cost you. I'm back. Okay. Hey. Once once shield is done doing his thing, I'm gonna make you guys move on. Alright, Mac. What two minutes could you put on a shield? Um, I guess anything that could make it more resistant. Hmm. I guess more what? More resistant. Are we doing it he is. Can I enchant? Can I have something enchanted? Roll perception to find an enchanter. Okay. Um. Here, I'll give you something you can enchant. Have it enchanted with. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. You find the same one that he does—a very crude enchanter. All right. That's how good you held. Mm. Can I put a return on it? Like, so it'll come back to me? Is that allowed, Crackle? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Okay, cool. How much would that cost? Fifteen gold. He says he's not very good at it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so with that, Riley, since I'm, I'm going to use your own words against you, 
if he's not good at enchanting stuff, have it to where Elk will have to roll a 1d10 or 1d20, depending on how, if it succeeds in actually activating or not. Roll a d20 then. Roll a d20 then. It does not succeed, but you do not know that it doesn't succeed. Sweet. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> okay, and you pay him the 15 gold still. You just got conned up your fucking money. <laughs> well, no, he did. The dude did give an honest try. He did. Alright, Rudy, what do you want to chant and what do you want to chant with? Rudy. Dick shit! Alright, Rudy. Motherfucker! Dickhead! Child bluster! Catholic priest! <laughs> I'm gonna get to my <laughs> He went offline. Um. He might be resetting his phone because I feel like he has some time. You roll for the you trying to go for it. Roll persuasion. Are you roll for the you Yeah. He seduced the shield. Did he even love the shield? He is a shield, after all. So he's seducing an inanimate object. Yes. Thank God, Carl. The inanimate shield would almost appear to gain a blush as he managed to seduce it. I can sort of imagine him using the spy voice. Did you? If Rudy doesn't come back in about two minutes, I think I'll just end the recording here then. Okay. And we can continue Why? this the next time. Well, because the next thing's another battle. I, I hate to spoil it, but the next thing's a battle. Okay. So, at 9.27, if he's not back, this is ended, and I shall post it to YouTube. Thanks for the time, Crackle, crackle, crackle! <laughs> 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 Shit has not returned. He has one minute left. What is that? Oh, I thought you rolled something else because you keep deleting shit. And I was like, what the fuck is that roll for? Let's see who's online, PlayStation. Of course, Austin's still playing Sims. Who the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, well, looks like we are ending the video. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you managed to stick with us through this, how long was that? Like almost two hours. So if you managed to stick through us and our bullshit, congratulations. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys the next time we do one of these. Peace. Ow. Right. Yeah.